I beg from government of Canada, please help us. This is what Farida Ahmadi is desperate to escape. Malnutrition, intimidation by the Taliban, and economic collapse. The former journalist fled Afghanistan and is now in hiding with her children, desperate for a Canadian visa to be granted. It is uh, six months that I waiting for a Canada uh, visa. Here, we have no future. Ottawa has pledged 40,000 Afghan refugees will be allowed into Canada. So far, a fraction, just 7,000 have arrived. Sheila Kweomi is one of them. She arrived in Canada in September and is now safe in Calgary, but has family she is still worried about back home. The situation is very bad in Afghanistan. And my rest of family, my immediate family, rest of my immediate family left behind in Afghanistan that I'm completely in trauma in these days because I don't know what will happen with them. 23 million Afghans are now at risk of starvation. Talks between Western officials and the Taliban began this weekend in Norway to find solutions. A delegation from Canada is not at the table. So they need to be a part of these ongoing meetings to try to ensure that people can get out of Afghanistan safely. Right now, the process for refugees trying to come to Canada is complex, bogged down by red tape. Senator Ratna Omnivar says that needs to change and more visas need to be granted. If people are still in Afghanistan, it's still at risk, uh, and there's no other way of getting them out, then private sponsorship is almost the only way uh, that Canada can formally make an effort to get them out. Next week, Cabinet will meet, with Afghanistan likely on the agenda. As one of the worst humanitarian crises in the world deepens, the need to simplify the process of those trying to escape to Canada becomes more urgent by the day. Travis Danrash, CBC News, Ottawa.